Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. And, and good evening to you as well, Dawa Films. Um, I, I, I want to start by saying that I've only recently discovered your channel and your videos, and in all honesty, the most impressive thing about your videos to me has been your introduction, because when you sound like you're speaking on behalf of a religion, that is, it's sort of like represents the, the deity that you worship. You sound like you're saying something very important and official, right? And guys like me who lack the, the belief in, in that there's like a deity that's greater than mankind in general. We, we don't get to say cool shit like that at the beginnings of our videos. We just get to say, hi, good evening, and silly lame shit like that, but it works. Um, any, anyway, I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so amused by your intro, but I am. I mean, you really think that you're just insignificant in comparison to this god of yours, and, and, and that's kind of what I want to talk about. Now, in, in your video to Thunderfoot, essentially what you've done is sort of compare people who think like him or anti-theist or whatever. You, you sort of try to compare, compare them to people like Muslim fanatics who threaten to kill people if they air cartoons of their prophet right and, and that's the comparison that you're trying to draw and, and in a lot of ways i guess you could say that both groups are indeed fanatical uh, about the things that they appreciate the things that they respect like on, on side a we have a group of people who really appreciate and respect their their deity and they really appreciate and respect their prophet or or their main uh you know pop dog prophet whatever the fuck i, I don't know much about your God story, to be quite honest, I'm not really all that interested, but, but that's the principle, right? They, they take it very seriously. It means a lot to them. And on the other side of the token, you have people who are fanatic, fanatical about free speech, right? And, and, and so much so that, you know, they go off on these tangents and one side's arguing with the other and yada, 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 yada. But, but what, what I think we have to acknowledge in all of this, like, yeah, there are fanatics and I don't think that all fanatics are necessarily dangerous like like if you're a violent person if you're a violent fanatic then yeah you're fucking dangerous i, I don't care if you're a muslim or um someone advocating free speech christian um some sort of secularist i don't give a fuck what organization or, or group you affiliate with if you're a violent fanatic you're a dangerous fanatic i think that's common sense now having said that i i think that we, we can sort of just get away from the idea of the whole fanatic thing because um, not all fanatics are dangerous. So we can get over that now. But but what I want to do, what I, what I do want to say is that there are, um, if, if you talk in your video about how Thunderfoot's thinking is black and white, right? Well, there are things that we can make distinctions between and we can sort of make a distinction between dogmatic thought and critical thought. Can't we? I mean, can't we do that? Aren't we allowed to do that? Isn't that a fair assessment of two major ways that people can approach a, a certain proposition. You can be critical of it, or you could be accepting and naive and just accept it, right? And um, I, I'm sorry, but personally, I do believe that if you accept certain propositions because they make you feel good, and then you stick to them no matter what the opposition has revealed to you, I think that's a dangerous way of thinking, and that is the very definition of, of dogma, of, of what dogmatism is. Um, if you're repeating something that's true over and over and over again, you might be a fanatic, but it doesn't make you a dogmatist. There's a fucking difference, and I think it would be nice if you, in your videos, when you're talking to people, you sort of make that distinction between a dogmatist and a fanatic, because they're very different fucking things. Um, if I were to repeat um, the, the same true mantra over and over and over again in all my fucking videos, like, um, um, you know, it, it's a bad idea to violently attack people, right? And I just fucking say that all the, all the fucking time, nonstop. It's a bad idea to force people to do things and, and, and violently attack people. These are bad ideas, bad ideas, bad ideas. It would be unfair for you to to call me a dogmatist because I'm stating truth, right? Dogma certainly deals more with um, faith because it, the dogmatist is in a place where they are unwilling to be swayed by any sort of fact presented to them in opposition to their uh, to the original proposition, right? 
So, so it would be fair to call me a fanatic if I made all my fucking videos about um, how it's wrong to be violent. Yada, yada, yada. You could call me like a fanatical pacifist, right? But you certainly could not call me a dogmatist for spreading the truth around. And truth, I mean, that is important, or at least it should be, right? And dogma, as I've said in older videos, has no interest in the truth. So that, I think, is how you measure a dogmatist, uh, by, by how much interest they have in the truth. And I know that that word becomes tricky, especially when you have a, a theist and non-theist. People have completely different ideas about how the world came to be and things like that. Then the word truth becomes really um, tricky, right, between us, because you, of course, believe that um, what you read in, in the Quran is, of course, truth, and, and I would reject that proposition. So that, that word becomes kind of a pain in the ass. But shouldn't we as human beings really, at the end of the day, be interested in some sort, or, or at least getting close to some sort of objective definition of, of truth? And if not a definition, um, shouldn't we at least be striving for some sort of method by which truth can be accurately measured? Shouldn't we actually try to do this? Isn't that important? Um, and, and I'm sorry, but a dogmatic individual, a person like yourself, um, does it, you, you can't be trying to reach that particular goal. Because the only quote-unquote truth that you ever seem to be interested in, Dawa Films, is what, whatever story that you've already presupposed as truth, that you've already decided on it. And, and short of, you know, deconversion, I don't see any discussion that you and I have really causing you to turn your back on that particular religion, that particular dogma. Because it's what you want to think. You find some sort of comfort in it. And you're very proud of your religion, and that's fine. But a dogmatist can never really be interested in truth or a method by which the truth can be measured. And I think we should strive for something like that. And with the scientific method, this is kind of what it is. It's kind of what it does. The scientific method is pretty much the closest we've gotten, right? And it has its flaws because humanity has its flaws, you know? Um, we thought up religion, didn't we? So there you go. But the, but the scientific method is pretty much the closest we've gotten to you know, a, a method of how we define what is true and what is not true, what is useful and what is not useful, what is destructive and, and what is productive. And it's the, it's the best that we've got right now. And religion has never made an attempt to do the same thing. And I know that you would like to believe that that's not the case. I know that you would probably like to believe that religion in this world and that dogmatism is every bit um, as necessary and beneficial as science itself, but but you, you've sort of proven my point, you know, in, in, in making the video that you did. Here you are using a, a device that was created using the scientific method to um, call people who have, like, or place some sort of value on the scientific method dogmatists. Here you are trying to um, bring someone down to your level, uh, your way of thinking, simply for placing some sort of value on science. I'm sorry, but you're using the, the very thing that you're opposing or, or bitching about or, or, or accusing, pe uh, accusing people of being dogmatists because they place value on science. Uh, you're, you're using the, the fruits of that fucking particular method as, as a resource to talk shit about it. And, and that just proves what dogmatic thinking does to people. What you're doing in this video is exactly why the dogmatist will always be more dangerous and less productive than the critical thinker. And that's that. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. Good night, everyone. Peace.